Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Mobile Home Investing Secrets. And I wanna to talk to you guys today about the secrets to flipping a mobile home. Now guys, I know a lot of you, you are beginners and you're thinking about flipping these homes and whether it's the right move for you to make. A lot of questions that I see, a lot of questions that I get is, is it profitable to flip a mobile home or is it worth it to even flip a mobile home? Well, guys, I want to tell you this. Uh, if you don't know about me, my name is Glenn. I've been in the mobile home space for between me and my wife over two decades. Um, I started out just like you guys. Um, started out with traditional real estate investing, single family homes. Um, and I just found that uh, mobile home investing was so much easier and it, was, uh, it wasn't so capital intensive as it is with uh, single family homes or multifamily units. But guys, mobile home flipping is a great point. It's a, a great part, uh, entry point for you to start at. But on the flip side of that, I see a lot of newbie investors, beginning investors make mistakes um, by not doing it the right way. I've made other videos about that, about uh, mistakes that I've seen people make investing in mobile homes. But I never actually did one about flipping mobile homes. So I'm gonna walk you through that process. Again, over 20 years, I even had a, a mobile home moving company, transport company, had our own truck. So we've seen that mobile homes inside and out, guys. Again, we've transported them. So I have the authority to talk about this. My wife and I, we have the authority to talk about this. But let me tell you the things that what we're looking for when we're flipping these homes, things that I want you to do, things that I, want you not to do these are the mistakes that i don't want you guys to run into like i see other investors running into so first let me get started with here's what you should do when flipping a mobile home number one you should buy the home it's really about this guy this in no, regardless of what you do with the home uh regardless of what's your exit strategy you should buy the home at the right price um this is everything guys uh, because you don't want to try to flip a mobile home let's say you purchased a mobile home for twenty thousand dollars i mean no no matter how much work you get in you put into it it's a used home guys and let's say you're trying to double your money you're trying to get forty thousand once you get into the forty thousand dollar price range um you can almost say thirty thirty thousand thirty five thousand dollars and up and that's in the cash. We talking about somebody coming with cash, giving you cash to, to get your money back quickly. Um, you're almost dealing in the the range of the newer house, the the newer mobile home models. I mean, a lot of the new ones are 60, 70, some of them 50 if they can get them on a discount uh, from the lots. So why would you purchase a home at twenty thousand and try try to flip it for forty? Um, you maybe could wholesale it if possible, but again, I doubt it. That's not the sweet spot for you guys. The right price is in the, uh, you can say the 1,000 to the $10,000 price range. Um, and I try to stay way below 10,000 guys. I, I don't even think I've ever bought a home that was $10,000. So a lot of our homes we purchased are in the, in between the five and $10,000 price range. Um, so, it's the right price, guys, because again, if something bad goes wrong, if you get it for a thousand, two thousand, three thousand bucks, you really can't, you can absorb that price. You can easily flip it for six thousand without even lifting a hammer. And that's something that we teach you guys how to flip these homes without ever touching them, without ever doing any work to that. But I'm going to dive more into that um, and these other things that I want you to do. So, number one is acquiring the home at the right price because your end buyer you have to make it affordable for your end buyer your end buyer or so maybe someone that can uh a regular consumer these per these people they're used to renting they don't have these big chunks of cash unless they touch some money some some type of way their taxes or they got in a car accident or something um but normally the consumer buyer they are going to want you to sell it to them on payments and that's another option then you can get into the selling the home for the thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollar price range. But if you're trying to just flip the money quickly, you want to sell it to either an investor or somebody that's looking for it uh, as a rental property or someone, like I said, who has the cash. 
and nine times out of ten that will be an investor so and the sweet spot for investors is around the twenty to thirty thousand dollar price range so if you're picking up these homes for three four thousand dollars and if you put four or five thousand dollars worth of work into them if that you can easily double your money guys so that's the first secret to flipping a mobile home acquiring it at the right price number two guys it's doing a proper inspection doing a proper inspection um that's the secret to flipping a mobile home again this is the mistake that i see a lot of newbies make they think that they're getting a the home at a great price it's so cheap but you have to think about it if you don't do a thorough inspection you don't do your due diligence you'll find out that you're getting it at that such a cheap price because the electricity is shot you need a new ac unit um there's a roof there's a leak in the roof um you need to replace some walls um there's soft spots in the floors i mean major issue what's some of the major issues uh the age of the home it can't be moved uh what's some other things um the type of the, the size of the home it's a two bedroom one bed this is not something that uh that's really going to be that profitable guys because you think about it, your typical american family it's mom dad two kids so two bedroom one bath home or two bath home that's going to be too small for a family so um that's why they're probably selling it so cheap so you, you, the money spot is the three bedrooms two bath homes those are the homes that you want to shoot for but you don't always run across those and you can make money with the two bedrooms also but back to the inspection you have to do a thorough inspection guys i told this story uh in the course we purchased this home and, and again guys this is a guy been in it for over two decades between me and my wife uh it was in a park and we didn't do a proper inspection of the electrical panel um we purchased the home a couple of thousand bucks we come back later find out the electricity the wires guys it was actually stolen so i had to come out of my pocket another seven eight hundred bucks because i didn't do a thorough inspection of the mobile home um so just things like that that can bite you another one that we bought um this mobile home again i think we purchased it for five thousand bucks um and it had been sitting for years so um, and the thing about that that you got to think about and that goes back to your inspection if a home has been sitting for years guys Think about the pipes underneath the, the mobile home. These things are exposed to the elements. So hot cold um, It's not being used it has been sitting for years. So Cold weather if they had a freeze then when you go to turn the water on all the pipes are, uh, are cracked and guys we had to literally replace all the pipes underneath the mobile home and that was from not doing a thorough inspection so even if you have to uh put all the utilities on make sure that all the utilities on that way you can check and make sure that everything nothing is leaking all the power works the ac unit works um your major appliances work everything works guys um if no power is on and you're not able to inspect it this is a bargaining chip you can tell the seller hey seller i don't know what works when i'm gonna turn this power on so i need to either if you can put the power on or i need you to come down lower on the price because I, again i don't know what i'm going to be getting i may turn on all on the water since it's been sitting for a while all the pipes are frozen i'm gonna replace all the pipes that's a thousand dollar two thousand dollar expense guys so all these things you have to calculate so doing a proper inspection that's the secret to flipping a mobile home that way that can help you get an idea of what it's going to cost you and that's the third secret to the things you need to do when flipping a mobile home is setting the right expectations guys setting the right expectations um This is something that I so often see with newbie investors. They don't have the right expectations. They purchased this home for cheap, got it at a great price. Wow, good luck to you, buddy. But what they find out later is that one, they can't move the home because of the age, it's so old. Um, two, they can't keep it in the park, so now it has to be moved. Um, three, not doing the proper inspection they find out that oh uh 
I can do this work or it's, it doesn't look like a lot of work. But when they get into the home, start doing the work, they find out that it's too much, guys. And that's what I don't want for you. Don't bite off more than you can chew. And that's what I'm going to talk about in, uh, in the don't section. But setting the right expectations. Who's going to do the work? Are you going to do the work? Are you handy? Are you a handyman? Guys, when I first started, I did a lot of the work myself. I had a father-in-law who helped me. Who was very he was a handyman so a lot of the work i could have did uh with his help in the beginning but so many years being into this in this process and learning from other investors and investing in my education i've learned that i don't have to do all this work i can make more money without lifting a hammer but some homes we still do do uh put some work into if it's not a lot we we know what expectations we've done this so much that we know what to expect and how much it's going to cost because we're not biting off more than we can chew we know if something is going to take more work who can do it for us or are we going to get our hands dirty um we shot a video i think a couple of months back showing where we we purchased the home and literally guys the lady just moved out the home all you needed to come there come inside the home and just come in there with a a, a broom and a, a and a dustpan and just sweep up and, and remove her garbage that she left over extra food and stuff like that so you guys go back and check that video out but setting the right expectations guys that's very important if i could tell you how many times people have called us and said and i even see the ads online people say i got this home and it was too much work i don't have time i work during the week i, I thought i could do it be a weekend warrior Fix the home over the weekend, but guys, I worked in construction over 20 years. Something that I used to tell people all the time when I, when I uh, delivered their goods, I'd say, this is not like uh, home and garden TV. These flipping channels, these flipping TV shows that you see, they flip the whole house in 20 minutes. It doesn't work like that, guys. You don't see that they had a whole crew. <laughs> You don't see that not only they had a whole crew, but they brought in extra people, a whole team to help them flip that house. They don't they don't talk about the money that they had to dish out. Um, so all these things, guys, it takes a team to flip these houses, mobile homes to make these things look uh, how they look. But you have to set the right expectations. Those are the things to do, guys. Now, <clears throat> what not to do? very important what not to do guys and that goes back to what i just said don't bite off more than you can chew biting off more than you can chew guys again Back to the right expectations. Who's doing the work? Will you do it? If you're going to do it, look at the overall scope of the project. Is this something that's going to take you a month, two months, three months? You see, you have to factor in all those costs in, in the project. Um, or are you going to get a handyman? Is this a reliable handyman? Is this someone that you're just starting out with that you really don't know about? If you're just starting, guys, I wouldn't recommend trying to flip a property that needs a ton of work why because it's going to cost you more in the long run guys you can you can buy a wrong mobile home you can invest money into a money pit sometimes these mobile homes become a money pit and you'll you'll get discouraged and you'll walk away from the property licking your wound saying that i'm a failure why because you bit off more than you could chew so guys don't do that don't tackle these homes that need new roofs that need a, a complete siding job the floors all the floors need to be replaced simple things that that either you can do if you're a handy person or if you're not handy you know someone that's handy that you can work with you have great references on a handyman that you can uh that can complete the job for you that they are also that they are familiar with that work you might have a guy who's just familiar with with doing sheetrock work and you want him to uh, change carpets and floors and he's not familiar with that so uh you might have a whole need to replace all the pipes and again you know the guy that's good with the sheetrock but he doesn't know anything about plumbing so all these things factor in your decision to whether or not to flip a mobile home so that's important guys do not bite off more than you can chew and fortunately 
being in this business for, for so long, we haven't done that. We knew what we were going to do with the home before we ever purchase it, whether we're going to let someone do the work themselves and we're not lifting a hammer or we just need to come in with a paintbrush, paint a couple of walls or remove some trash. Any of the homes that we saw that needed a ton of work, that needed a complete remodel, guys, we stayed away from and we still do that till this day. So number two, the number two thing not to do when flipping a mobile home uh, goes hand in hand with this. Um, don't remodel homes. Now I know this is a little bit unconventional than what other people are, t are teaching. And when I say remodel homes, I am saying completely redoing these homes. I've seen people do that. I'll put the link in the description of this video uh, that I gave a, a review about, about this investor. They literally flipped this home inside out, guys. This is an older model home, uh, 80s model, and they really, they redid this thing like a home that you would see on Home and Gardens. Redid the tubs, the floors, the bathrooms, the kitchens, everything. And I'm sure they got it for a couple of thousand bucks, six, seven thousand. And they were offering, I think, like 40,000 bucks for, the, for this home. So the problem with that, guys, is that you can't, you can't really remake the, the outside unless you put vinyl, uh, vinyl siding on the outside of the home but again that's eating into the cost um this home that that i was talking about they had metal siding on the outside so the home still had the old look even though they painted it it still looked like an older model home so um don't get into the business of remodeling these homes guys um i heard from another investor friend he uh he got a 1970s model home he i mean he flipped this thing inside out and after doing all of that work he said it would have been much simpler if he would have just purchased a 90s model, uh, early 2000s home for four or 5,000 bucks and put money into that instead of dumping all this money into a 70s model home. So guys, you don't want to get into that business because again, like I said, I've seen so many people get out of this business because someone gave them the home, they pretty much gave it to them for free or got it for two, 300, 500 bucks. And they said, guess what? How can I lose with a $500 home? But yes, you can lose because the, uh, the supplies aren't, aren't cheap. <laughs> Your labor isn't gonna be cheap. Um, paying the different tradesmen to come in and, and fix the AC unit, repair the roof. They, you're not gonna pay discounts on that. You're gonna pay full price on those things. And again, a 70s model home, how much can you do to that? How much work can you do to a 70s 80s model home now the only way i would probably consider it and that's something that you need to think about also and i'll talk about this uh in making mad money with mobile homes check out that video also it's about the disposition guys can the home stay in the park uh do you have to move it you have to know your exit strategy with these homes before you even buy the mobile home um so the only way I would consider remodeling a home, and again, this is not a complete remodel. This is probably replacing some floors, replacing a couple of walls, maybe doing a little bit of roof work if it needs a patch here or there. Um, but if it can stay in the park, I definitely would do it. And it depends on the skill level. If I'm a handy person, if I can tackle that, fine, you're up to it. But if you're a guy who has W-2 job and you're off on weekends, you gotta factor in the time that is going to take you to fix that mobile home. And a hundred times out of a hundred, you're going to underestimate the time. And that leads me to my final point um, on what to do when, uh, when flipping a mobile home. You not only underestimate your time, but many people underestimate their budget. Underestimating your budget, guys. Again, from decades of experience, guys, many people don't estimate properly how much it's going to cost to replace a bathroom, replace the cabinets, replace the floors, finding a good contractor to do these things. And what's, what's the cost going to be? And like I said, you can factor in more time than what you're uh, expecting. Why? Because guys dealing in construction pretty much all of my life 
it always takes longer than what you say it will take. The contractors are they're not reliable. They're hopping from job to job. Um, so unless you're doing it yourself and you have the time to put into it, um, you're really going to underestimate what it's going to take to get the job done when flipping a mobile home. So these are the things that I want you guys to consider. That's the secrets to flipping a mobile home. That's the things that we kind of factor in when we decide whether we're going to flip a home or we're going to put in put work into it. Did we buy it at the right price? Did we do our proper inspection? Are our expectations um, right? Um, who's going to do the work? Are we going to do the work? Um, what's our exit strategy? Just knowing these things ahead of time. Um, what not to do. Don't bite off more than you can chew. Guys, start small. Um, being that mobile home space, it, it's so cheap to get these homes. It, it's so affordable to come into this space, but you can make mistakes, guys. So, and a lot of mistakes that people make is biting off more than they can chew. And I don't want that for you guys. So don't do it. Be on the watch out. You can, there are so many deals out there, guys, that you can acquire a nice home, a newer home for a couple of thousand bucks more than what you would pay for that 80s model, that 70s model home. Um, don't remodel homes. Only way you consider remodeling homes, um, putting a lot of work into them is if they can stand the park. Um, if you have to move these things, guys, that's when the expense, it gets more expensive to deal with these mobile homes because a move can cost four or five, six thousand dollars $6,000, sometimes more. If it's a double wide, you can double the price of that. Um, so you have to factor in all those things. That That's what goes into your budget having a right budget. If you're just starting, you're a beginner and you say, I have 5,000 bucks. If the home is gonna cost me three and I have to move it, guess what? I'm priced out of the deal. Um, if it's in a park, guess what? I can put in a thousand bucks. I can buy some paint. I can do a little bit of work myself and to spruce it up. So I'm still in the deal, but if I'm gonna flip it and, and figure I'm trying to double my money, I have to consider all of these things, guys. I have to consider my budget. So if I were just starting out today and I had 3,000, 2,500 bucks, I would probably be looking for homes in parks um, that don't have to be moved. Or I would get my, build me a list, which I talk about. Um, check out the link in the description, guys. We got the wholesale ebook where we talk about wholesaling, acquiring these things without putting up any money. I would build my list and find people who can move these homes, people who are looking for deals, park park managers, park owners, investors, landlords who can get these homes and they you acquire for twenty five hundred and flip it to them for wholesale it to them for five thousand, six thousand dollars. We do this we do this till this day. Um so those are the things that you have to consider, guys. So I hope this was informative to you guys. Again. Check out the link in the description if you want to learn more. We have a video course too. I'll put that link in the description where, guys, we go through all of these deals. I'll walk you through how to in properly inspect the home, how to, what to look for, um, the mistakes we made. We actually go through a deal where we show you from start to finish how we flip the mobile home, the work we put into it, why we decided to put the work into it. So um, check out, check that out if you're interested in that. But Again, guys, I hope this was, um, you learned something from this, from this lesson. So again, drop your comments, like, and subscribe to the channel, guys. Talk to you soon.